Stanford is a heavy favorite this week. Ten points on the board for the Cardinal when they host Oregon this weekend. Welcome back, college football analyst Ross Benjamin. Oregon is a much better team now than it was five weeks ago. Could the odds makers be undervaluing the Ducks' capability in this game? I don't think so. When you look inside the numbers, the record is a little deceiving. Uh, they opened the season three and three. They have rebounded to win their last three games, Megan, similar to in seasons past. Their offense is highly explosive and can put up a lot of points. The problem being their defense is allowing 37 points and 490 yards per game. I don't care how good your offense is. It's very difficult to win for prolonged stretches when you play that bad a defense and especially so when you're facing a quality opponent like Stanford. And speaking of Stanford, in my opinion, they're the best team in the country that nobody's talking about right now. This is a team that's won eight straight since an opening loss at Northwestern. They're right in the national title mix, albeit they're on the periphery at number 11. This will be a statement game for Stanford in terms of the national college football playoff picture. I'm going to take the Cardinal here. I think they're going to come up big at home and really hammer Oregon in this contest. Stanford minus 10 over Oregon. All right, throwing you a curveball here, Ross. Does Stanford make the playoffs this season? Well, it's all going to, I think it's all going to come down to the Notre Dame game, the regular season front finale. Of course, they'll be in the Pac-12 championship game. Uh, I think that that's the least of their concerns, albeit uh, that'll be a tough game, whoever that opponent may be. But, uh, you know, this is a team that's physical, disciplined, and knows how to win. And David Shaw is an excellent college football coach. Absolutely. Things are certainly heating up. We're looking forward to the great weeks ahead. College football analyst Ross Benjamin, thanks for being back with us.